G'day, I'm Alan McGlashan and welcome to Club Marine TV. Now today we're talking about one of my favourite fish, the snapper. You find them right around the southern half of Australia, from southern Queensland right around the bottom, up past the Abrolhos in Western Australia. What's so good about them? They can grow to more than 30 kilos and more than a metre in length. Now that is a solid fish. They're an interesting fish because they can grow for more than 25 years of age. So they're actually a slow growing fish, which is a really important part, which is about looking after them. You've got to preserve them. As a kid, I used to do it with heavy thread lines and overhead reels. These days, it's light tackle. 4,000 size Stella, perfect for the job. And do you know what? You can still catch a fish that's 10 kilos. The beauty is the technology has improved so much in our fishing gear is now that you don't need heavy gear to catch them. You can catch them on light tackle and have a lot of fun. These guys are bottom fish. So they're a demersal species, which means they spend most of the time near the bottom. So that means you can catch them just about any way from soft plastics to trolling lures and of course bait. Probably the most important thing is fresh is best. And of course, burley. If you use burley, you will catch more snapper. Now, on the east coast, we get a lot of bait schools and snapper tend to sit on those baits, so slimy mackerel, yakkers, they sit on these schools, which is generally on, on heavier reef. For that, you can use bait, which is the old technique, but now a lot of the guys on the east coast are running soft plastics and even trolling for them. Once you get into Victoria and South Australia, which are the true hot spots of snapper, you move away from the heavy reef and start fishing more your gravel beds and your rubble beds, this more semi-open area. So first thing, you can drop your leader size down. Second thing is the snapper change from feeding on bait fish a lot more to more shellfish and crabs. So when it comes to baiting up, a 5-0 circle hook is absolutely perfect for the job. Remember, reduce your leader size down if you can, especially in heavily fished areas, because snapper do get a bit spooky. That first light, snapper are really active, so it really pays to get up early. And of course, fish late, that last light is just as productive. So the other part is the tides. Tides are critical and play an important role in snapper, so you can get a really good bite occasionally in the middle of the day when you get a tide change. Now, if there's one last tip I can offer you, because we're all running circle hooks now, the old day of striking as quick and hard as you can, don't do it. Fish the reeling gear. As he picks up that bait and swims away, that circle hook locks in. So the key is don't strike, use a softly, softly approach, and you'll get bigger fish. Snapper are such an important resource. They release really well if you look after them. You need to use a release weight to get them down in deeper water. They also taste great. So there's nothing wrong with taking what you need and letting the rest go for another day.